Now you did house arrest. How long house arrest did you do? Uh, I had uh, I was sentenced to eleven and a half to twenty three months on house arrest, but you know I presented the the judge some good things that I had going on as far as like 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 um, me being involved in like TV shows and model and stuff like that. And she looked at me. She said, "Well, I mean," and then she heard it where I spoke too. That's another thing. Like she she seen where I spoke when I finally got the chance to speak. You know, usually you don't speak until like you know the end. Like the end of your trial, and even first sentence, and, and you know, I spoke and she was like, "Wow, yeah, man, I ain't had no idea you that intelligent. Did you finish high school?" I'm like, "Yeah, I graduated." Like, and I, and I just showed her the things I was involved in, and she was like, "I can tell you a changed man." So she said, "She said I'm gonna give you house arrest. I don't want to see you to prison." So I did house arrest, and then she 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 cut my house arrest short just so that I can come back out here and finish working. So I ended up doing like five six months. So this all stemmed from a felony charge you were found guilty of. Mm hmm. You took it to trial and everything. And yeah, lost in trial. Lost in trial. Because yeah, I just knew I just knew I was going to beat it. Because they, they, you know I mean, I, I was never the, the way the case happened. It was so weird that I, I never was arrested the day that it happened. A cop saying I pulled a gun on him and and I ran and stuff like that. You know the way it happened. It just, I mean, it, it was crazy. It had no evidence, none. But and the, and the long story short, I ended up losing. I mean, because of the way my look, I look, of course. But you know, I took it on the chin. I said it is what it is. So. You know, I did that little house arrest, but I took it as, honestly, everything happened for a reason. So I look at it as God wanted me to take that little time out just to realize what I need to do. He didn't want to, he didn't want to put too much on me by sending me to prison, but just to sit me down a few months on house arrest to think like, yo, you need to really get on your, get on your shit, work, and just stay out of trouble and just, you know, do what you got to do. And, and I learned from that. They had me, once I got off house arrest, came right back out here working, having, had not one encounter with the police since. Did you have a public defender or an attorney? A lawyer, paid lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, did they offer you a plea deal before they uh, mm -hmm. had the trial? My, my plea deal was one and a half to three years. And your attorney felt pretty good about being able to beat it? Or did he say, maybe you should take this? He said, he was like, um, he said he can beat it. He, he told me, he like, yeah, we should be able to beat this, but he, he he didn't he didn't say like he didn't sound for sure to me like like, like too certain yes confident so I'm like uh you know but then again like like the way I thought of thought of uh thought of anyway that it's hard to beat a a, a case with a cop anyway if you got a cop getting on the stand and said that was him that did that and they be lying anyway but regardless if they lying or not and they say he did that they gonna go over a cop word before mine anyway first you look at me you feel me like you know because they they judge. But this was your first serious offense. Yeah. Did you have like? I mean, I've been in trouble before, with, with, like with police and stuff like that. When I, mean, I had friends killed that was with me by police, I, I've been through stuff with police before and stuff like that. But actually, like charged and go to trial, it, this, that was the, the first time. Like serious case. The rest was like misdemeanors. Do you think your prior history of the misdemeanors and stuff like, with police might have also contributed to the? Uh, the guilty verdict. Aside from your face tattoos, you did mention your face tattoos. I don't. I, I mean, I, honestly, I don't know. Not really. I honestly don't, because because the 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 only other violent offense I had that I was actually charged with was an aggravated assault. But I had got that knocked down to a simple assault. So that wasn't really the case. Like they they, they really didn't bring that up in court. Or they was worried about the way I look. He just kept standing and was looking at me. So I ended up getting a girl judge because at the end, when I got sentenced, they switched the judge out. That's how I got the girl, and she made my, I mean, but that was God. I mean, she was, she was, she was like, you know, good with me. Like, well, I see a change in blah, blah, blah. I'm just glad I had that same no judge because he probably the one sent me right up top to jail. When did they switch the judge? Right at my sentencing. Like, I had a judge. I lost in trial with the, with the guy, with the male judge, and then the female a few judge months later, was I, I went for, for sentencing, and she was there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I see. And they gave you how much arrest again? A house arrest again? 11 and a half to 23 months. And you only did, had to did half of that? Yeah, I only did like five, six months. Now, when it comes to house arrest, um, what was your biggest pet peeve with house arrest? What bothered you the most about it, if anything? I was by myself, like losing my mind. <laughs> like, like, for the most part, I was just in there by myself, and it was just, you know, like, it was, it was, it was I mean, I ain't really had too many people. See, for me, I ain't had too many people coming over to the house because. Like I said, like I got shot too many times already, so I don't like people knowing my location. That 
So I didn't let people know where I was at or I was on house arrest and stuff like that because I don't trust nobody. So by me not doing, like, being able to do that, I was in there by myself. You know, like, you know, it gets, it gets boring. You know, I, I was on FaceTime talking to people, but, you know, that they they wears out after a while. And then it's just, like, you and, and that TV. So it's, like, you know, all day. Like, and they let me out only. I came out once every two weeks. So it's, like, and man, I had, and I, I came out in the morning time. Every two weeks when I came out that one time, I went to go see my PO. And then I had to be in by like four o'clock, so it's like I didn't really get much to do. Didn't have a girlfriend. Didn't have any females. Yeah, come man. Over. I, yeah, I got. I had a girlfriend. My my son and his mom, but they was down here at the time. I mean, because I had to go back for house arrest, so they was down here. Oh. So I had to go out there by myself. So you had to do the house arrest in Philly. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they were in Atlanta. Yep. Now, when it comes to house arrest. Somebody watching this that just got sentenced to a house arrest as well. Any do's or don'ts, anything you would tell them, advise them? I mean, it, it depends on a person, what that person into. I mean, if you got beef and, and, and out here really into shit, you got to be smart. And if you're going to be smart, you don't have nobody at your crib, especially females. Females, the, the first ones to line you up and have somebody waiting on you as soon as you step out the crib or bring, open the lead door, open anything. I mean, that's the way I think. I've been shot too many times that the less my play with my life. But, you know, it all depends on the person. But if you don't got no beef, you're not into nothing, why, shit, why not? I have a whole bunch of girls in there. I have a ball on house arrest. 